Hello everybody, it's Arbil here with Oak Tree Gun Club and today we're going to be looking at how to take apart and clean the Beretta M92FS or the Beretta M9 variant. And uh, basically this is a civilian version of the US military issue Beretta M9, the 9mm sidearm. And uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the source of feed, which is the magazine. And we're going to lock the slide to the rear if it already is not. And we're going to do that by pushing up on our slide release as we draw the slide to the rear. Okay, and now I let go and the slide has been locked to the rear. We're going to do a, basically a visual inspection there and a physical inspection. We know that there is nothing in the chamber, so now we can continue on with our cleaning. What I'm going to do is I have to first to push this button right here. So as I'm pushing that button with my forefinger, I have to drop this notch down. Okay, it'll only let you do that when you're pushing down on it. Okay, so once I've done that, first step, I push that in, then I rotate that down, my slide release down. Now I can go ahead and take the slide from the frame. Now I have to be careful because it is under pressure right now, and if I'm not careful, the slide and barrel are just going to fly off the frame. So carefully coasting it forward, I'm going to release my slide, and I'm going to go ahead and pull the slide off of the frame like such. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the frame over here, because this is the farthest we're going to take the frame apart. And I have to be a little bit careful because there is some spring tension here. This spring and this recoil spring with the spring guide rod is under pressure. So I'm going to basically remove it and push it that way, kind of take it off. And you can see now the, that's the full length of the spring. And it comes apart just like that. Or you can just leave them together. Not a whole lot of carbon builds up on this part. So I'm going to put that to the side. Just much like a Glock or pretty much any modern gun, I'm going to take the barrel and pull it out of the frame just like such. It gets a little interesting because the Beretta has these locking lugs that you got to kind of monkey with, but basically it comes out just like that. And now, as you see right here, this is our basic field strip of the Beretta M92 or M9 variant. So now what I'm going to do is basically start cleaning it and get all this other stuff out of the way. And again, as I always describe, you know, it doesn't really matter what order I clean this in. The only thing that matters is that I keep track of what I'm cleaning and what I'm not cleaning. And I have the Impro 7 gun cleaner. It's my favorite to use here. And we're just going to spray down the barrel. And again, just like all the other handgun videos, we're going to look at basically cleaning our feed ramps of the barrel. And this is where the bullet actually gets guided into the barrel from the frame when it's stripped off of the magazine. I'm just cleaning all the carbon that was on this barrel. Impro 7, again, it's really good because it doesn't have that solvent hazardous smell or vapors coming off of it. It's basically, it's very indoor friendly and it does a very effective job at cleaning. Okay, so now I've cleaned that. I'm going to bring out my boar snake and as I always describe, the boar snake is constructed of a weighted portion which goes through the barrel as the bullet travels down the barrel. And then it has a double brush portion and I pull that all the way through and then it has a loop that basically you can put a cleaning patch on and uh, that way you can check your progress. So we're going to go ahead and clean out that barrel. We're going to put the boar snake through like such. We're going to pull it through, but before I start pulling it through, I'm going to take some M Pro 7 gun cleaner, or I'm going to be taking any solvent that I'm using. I'm just going to spray it. I'm not going to be very conservative with it. And then I'm going to start to pull it basically through the barrel. Okay, now I can see through the barrel now, and uh, it's very clean. So the barrel has been taken care of. In terms of cleaning, we're going to put that to the side. But now we're going to pick up the frame, or excuse me, the slide. And uh, again, as I always describe, there's basically a three-part process to cleaning any type of gun. First of all, we're going to be removing the carbon and uh, breaking down the carbon, the lead, the copper, everything that's stuck or, or still in the gun. And uh, then what we're going to be doing is lifting it out, taking it out of the gun with a rag and a brush. And then the third thing is we're going to be lubricating the gun for storage and use. So basically, uh, as you see here, like I said, the Beretta has been taken apart. As far as you really ever want to take it apart, um, there's really no need to take it any further than what you see here. Unless you're taking it to a gunsmith and he's replacing parts or working on stuff. Really. So we're just going to go ahead and clean all this, get all of our little branches and our details and all that stuff here. All the little tiny crevices and whatnot. And then we're going to go ahead and lift out all that carbon that we just broke down.
And that is uh, sort of one of the interesting features of the Beretta M9 or M92 FS variant is that the barrel is actually exposed. So safety checking the gun, cleaning the gun, there's a lot less to clean and uh, it's a lot easier to safety check the barrel. Okay, so we went ahead and took care of that. The slide is clean and good to go. We're going to put that to the side. Now the one last thing we really have to deal with is the frame. And what we're going to do is just put a, just a little bit of a spray in there. And again, we're just going to use our brush to clean it out. Now the brush I'm using, it's an AR-15 M16 style uh, cleaning brush. I like to use it because it works on generally pretty much every type of gun. It has a larger end and a smaller end. And uh, it works very effectively to clean these types of guns. Really any type of gun, not just an AR-15 style rifle. So we're going to go ahead and clean off all that carbon that we just lifted off. Again, that, that M Pro 7 cleaner, I use it on my guns at home actually because it's very effective at getting this stuff out. It takes a very quick job, you don't have to sit there all day with it. Just gets the job done and gets you on your way. Okay, so generally speaking, this gun has been cleaned up and you may want to sit there with Q-tips if you've had a very heavy day on the range using a Q-tip to kind of get inside the small areas of this gun. That goes for any gun really. And now we're going to go ahead and lubricate and put it back together. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the barrel and we're going to put some lubrication, especially on the locking lugs of this barrel. We're also going to put it uh, on the barrel itself. Now again, it's kind of an interesting thing about this gun is there is no, it's an exposed barrel, so there's not a whole lot of slide to worry about. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put it back into the slide. We're going to have to drop it in from the rear as it came out. And we're just going to have to monkey with it till our locking lugs, everything is level and the gun looks like such. I'm going to go ahead and take off any excess oil that we have. Okay, now last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of oil uh, within the actual frame itself, within the rails of where the slide actually rubs and meets with the frame. Okay, I'm going to put that down there. And then what I'm going to have to do to get this unit ready to go is I have to insert the, the spring into the forend basically of the slide like such. And then I'm going to have to apply pressure. Again, we want to be careful because this is under pressure. We're going to apply forward pressure and we're going to lock that unit into this little cup machined into the barrel locking lug. And we're going to trap it in that cup. So basically now this is ready to go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to meet up our frame and slide together on those notches. And we're going to pull it back. Now we have a gun that is basically almost together. Now what, is, what I'm going to have to do, uh, much like your SIG, your SIG series, is I'm going to have to push up on my slide release on this part. And as I'm pushing up, I'm going to pull back and lock the slide to the rear. Now I've done that like such. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to lock the uh, slide back into the frame. If I were to let go of the slide and release the slide right now, the barrel and slide would fly right off of the frame. We don't want that, so I'm going to go ahead and push that back up. And now this is properly latched back on. Okay, so the gun has been cleaned and put back together. Now we're going to do, as we always do, we're going to do a function check. So we're going to lock the slide to the rear. We're going to see that there's nothing in there. And we can do our physical and visual inspection. This gun is unloaded. There's no source of feed. So what I'm going to do, still pointing it in a safe direction. I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger and discharge it. But I'm going to keep the trigger held down. I'm not going to let go of it. And now I'm going to go ahead and cycle the gun again with the trigger is still being de depressed. Now I'm going to go ahead and let go of the trigger and I should hear a click. I'm going to go ahead and discharge it again. Okay, so what we did is we just mimicked the battery of arms and the, the firing cycle of this weapon and we have verified that this gun is back in working order and uh, now it's good to go. Thanks for watching.